We'll have to see if that day back in January 2021 broke Donald Trump and Mike Pence's relationship forever. Trump supporters attacked law enforcement and stormed the U.S. Capitol following the former president's rally nearby. It happened just hours before Congress was set to certify that Trump had lost in his reelection. Trump's vice president, Mike Pence at the time, refused to defy the Constitution and try to stop Congress in that effort to overthrow the results of that election. Now, Trump has talked about running for president again in 2024, but Pence is also traveling the country as he looks at running as well. That would seem to be complicated for this Trump-Pence team that served together for four years. I think if you know Mike Pence, he's somebody who will always try to discern what the Lord's will is for him and for his wife. And I think uh, they don't know what, what the next few years hold. I think that they'll be careful in that deliberation. And sometime in 2023, he and Karen Pence will uh, will try to really try to discern if that's what they're being called to do in the next step in their political career. But I think he's very proud of what they accomplished um, during the partnership with Donald Trump. And I think he also recognizes that on January 6th, he had a constitutional responsibility to uphold. And I think that uh, for him, there wasn't much of a gray area there. That was something that uh, was very clear as to what his constitutional responsibility was. And um, even though he and the president may never see the same way about that, I think he's very comfortable knowing that he did what, he, what uh, the law required him to do. Up next in the Insider's Quick Six, what we're watching in this second summer of COVID-19.